today we're going to show you how to sync iCivics with Google Classroom. So first I'm going to show you our Google Classroom account that we're going to be using. It's called Demo G Teacher one So going to sign into Google Classroom on there. And you can see we have one class with four students in it. The next thing we're going to do is open iCivics. And we're going to go to the top right corner and click sign in. Under login to iCivics, we're going to go down to the bottom left and click sign in with Google. And then choose that email account that is associated with the Google Classroom. And then we're going to click register as an educator. This is going to take you through three short steps where you have to provide a bit of information about yourself so that we can get your account set up. This last step is the most important one. You have to agree to our terms of use and privacy policy. And most importantly, you have to give us permission to sync with Google Classroom. If you don't click to check this box, we will be unable to complete the sync. And you're going to once again choose the email account that's associated with your Google Classroom. And that's a success. So we're going to click on the classes you want to add and click sync with Google Classroom. You can do this now, but you're also able to go back and sync with the certain classes you want later. Um, and we'll show you that button is right at the top here as well. But as you can see, this sync has allowed us to have period A, our classroom Google Classroom in here with all four of our students, Cindy and our three demos. And you can see that here on our Google Classroom. It's called period A here as well. And if we go up to people, we can see that we only have our Cindy and three demos. So that is a complete sync of the classes. Now we're going to show you how to create an assignment and have that sync with your Google Classroom. So there's two ways to do this. The first is to go on your My iCivics and click add next to assignment. You give the assignment a title and a due date. And then as you start typing in the content, this will be the name of the assignment that you want to give to your students. But if you start typing, we will automatically populate um, assignments with those names. So give it some instructions. All of this will go back to Google Classroom as you scroll down and click sync this assignment. And once again, click on the email that's associated with Google Classroom and then save. Now you can see at the top, it's created an assignment both in iCivics and in Google Classroom. You can click go there now and we will see that the assignment has been created. It's due next Tuesday. And all four of your students can see it and you can see their status. The second option is to create an assignment straight from the content page on our website. So if you go to the Teach Hub, you can scroll down and find whatever assignment you're looking for or if you're just browsing. For this example, we're going to click on a DB quest and click on assign. Once again, you're taken to this very familiar screen now and you're going to type in a title for the assignment. Once again, click a due date. And the content is already filled in on this one because it's straight from the content page. And so you're going to click and add some instructions and then sync with Google Classroom. Again, choosing the email that's associated with the account and click save. As you see, again, it has created an assignment in iCivics and in Google Classroom. You can go to your Google Classroom straight from that link and you'll find if you click on period A, there are both of our new assignments. 
and under classwork it has been received there as well. To view them in iCivics, you go to the home page and click My iCivics, and then you'll scroll down to find Classes. You'll click on the class that you are, have set the assignment for, which is period A in this example. And then if you scroll down, you'll see your two assignments and your students, and you can view their progress on both of these websites.